Hey everybody, today I'm going to paint some colorful desserts and I'm using White Knight's watercolors as well as Windsor & Newton designer gouache. And you can see that I already have my sketch on my paper, which is from Hahnemühle. And I have chosen a bunch of pictures of different desserts and I cut them out digitally and put them together in some sort of collage and I just decided which ones are going to be which color and how the color gradient on the painting is going to go roughly because I really wanted the colors here to make sense and to look very pleasing and then I printed all of that out and just transferred the outlines to my paper. So if you struggle with sketching, you're not as good as at that or you struggle with proportions or you have a bigger project like I did here where you already know exactly what you want to paint you can always just print out your design and then transfer it onto your paper I do that by drawing with a very soft pencil on the back side of my printout and then I transfer by using a very hard pencil and draw on top of the design and that way the pencil on the back side rubs off onto the paper. I'm sure you have seen this technique around a lot. A lot of artists use that so if you're more of a bit of a beginner or you're on a time crunch or like I did here you know exactly what you want to do then this is a really good starting point and at this point in the painting you can see that I'm coloring in everything roughly I'm just filling the colors in mostly deciding where which colors are going to go and just trying to get rid of as much white space as possible essentially. I'm starting to do a few details and a little bit of texture but not too much. This is just the starting point, this is the first layer and I am going to compact combine watercolors and gouache in this piece so I have a lot of options of going back and forth and layering because with gouache you can always add in lighter layers later and with watercolors obviously you can only go from white to dark if you're painting on a white paper and you can sort of already see the color gradient appear. My idea here was that the desserts on the right side are more of a warm brown or yellow color and then we gradually move towards other colors. We have a little bit more of red, orange, browns and then we move into really deeper red colors and more magentas and then on the very left side we're in the blue tones. So we kind of have a little bit of a rainbow gradient, not the entire rainbow but I had this idea, this was basically the entire idea behind this, that all of these desserts would be color coordinated and all of the desserts would have this one main color and they have a little bit of other colors in them as well. For example, the cupcake on the top right, it has a, a raspberry on it and obviously that raspberry is going to be red. So we have hints of other colors in the category categories too but the main colors of each dessert go with where they're positioned in the piece. I hope all of that makes sense but honestly I'm really happy with how the colors turned out and how it looks in the end result because the colors harmonize and make sense together and I had a lot of fun with this piece. It was another one that took me a long time. So the footage for this video was around eight and a half hours and I would say that the planning stage of finding all of the photos and arranging them, printing them out, transferring that that probably took at least an hour as well and then you also have to take into consideration the time 
times where my camera maybe stopped or I didn't record. So all in all, I would say this took probably around 10 hours. So if you're in for a big commitment, then this could be a cool piece for you. And I've been craving some more detailed pieces that I put a lot of love into because I do a lot of these quick doodle simple ideas on my channel which I really love but I was craving a little bit of uh, more detailed pieces and taking my time with it and so this is one of those that I've been creating and I feel like I'm slowly starting to want to do the simple and quick ideas again. So it's always a balance and the back and forth between the two for me. And honestly, that's fine. And if you're looking for something a little bit more quick, then I definitely recommend picking one of these desserts or picking your favorite ones and just painting those. You really do not have to fill a big page like I did here with as many details as I added in order to create a cool piece. I have created sketchbook pages or even finished pieces with just one cupcake or just one cookie. It really doesn't matter. Pick the ones that you like most and recreate those if you feel inspired. Or you could also arrange your own desserts in your own color scheme. I think that would be so fun. You could arrange them in different ways, create a gradient from the different desserts throughout the page like I did here. Or you could combine them in any way, just different colors and really a more a messy layout. And I think you could have a lot of fun with that. And I hope that this video mainly serves as inspiration for you rather than a tutorial because I know it is very sped up. And I mean, this piece took 10 hours. So of course it is very sped up and you can't really see every single stroke that I did because then we would be here forever. But I really hope that you get some inspiration from this and pick up your brush and want to create some colorful things. And I have to say that even though desserts are such a good motif to paint, I haven't explored nearly enough of these. I have painted cupcakes before and I believe I've also painted cakes and stuff and maybe a pie here and there and obviously I've painted a lot of fruits and vegetables so the fruit part of it is something that I'm very accustomed to already but I haven't really explored the different kinds of desserts that exist and so I was actually really surprised with how many amazing pictures I could find and inspirations I could find for this piece so it really was more a matter of picking which ones I wanted to do than not finding enough. I know that there are a lot of cupcakes and muffins on this one but I picked those because especially with the cupcakes with the frosting you can really change up the color of the frosting and so it really worked with my color scheme idea because we have the blue frosting we have the yellow frosting and the red one so you can really play around with that and I also really enjoyed painting those wrappers with all of the little folds in them it was very tedious but it was also very enjoyable so so yeah, cupcakes are always a good go-to, but also the other kinds of cakes and everything that's on here. I would say that desserts are a really good idea if you're struggling to find something that you want to paint and that's more of a low pressure thing. I know that I put a lot of details into this piece, but honestly with desserts you can simplify them a lot and they still look cute. So this is a really good go-to if you're stuck or if you're just looking for something fun and something where you can really play around because honestly you don't even have to use colors that are realistic. With this piece I tried to stay 
and the somewhat realistic side of things because I uh, I don't know that was kind of the vibe that I was going for I wanted the gradient to look natural but not too forced so we don't have a blue cake or something like that but obviously blue cakes do exist you could color in the dough and you can create rainbow cakes and all kinds so you can really play around with colors if you want to and there's absolutely no limitation on this theme or on this idea and so really think about the colors and think about what you could do if you feel inspired to create something similar and I might do more desserts in the future because there's a lot of desserts that didn't make it onto this page just because they wouldn't fit composition wise or color wise there's a lot of things that are not on here you could also do candy I could have added so many different types of candy and also regarding reference pictures most of those were from Paxels which is a royalty free stock photo page where you can use all of those photos for free and some of those were also from Adobe stock from the free version because there is a um, certain amount of photos that you can get for free, I believe. But I do have an Adobe account. So I don't know if it was included with my account or if it is an option for everyone. But some of the pictures that I used here were from that. And there were a lot of nice pictures on there as well. And if you regularly paint stuff and want to use it for commercial use, if you, for example, sell your paintings or things like that, then maybe it would be a good idea to get a stock photo subscription. I don't know. I don't really have one at this moment. It's just not worth it right now, but I have been considering it. It would make sense if I'm really on the hunt for good reference pictures. But honestly, if you change up your pictures a lot, if they don't look too alike to the original picture, then you can also use not royalty free pictures. Obviously, I'm not a lawyer. Take everything that I would say here with a grain of salt. And obviously, you have to change up the picture quite a bit so it doesn't infringe on any copyright. But sometimes if I really stylize something and you can't really tell anymore where it was from or if I merge a bunch of pictures together, then I don't really think about these things. But honestly, that also depends on what you are painting, the motif and how confident you feel in stylizing stuff and changing stuff up because I know that when I first started painting I was trying to copy the reference pictures completely now I'm at a point where I can change the pictures to make them fit my own aesthetic and what I'm going for and here in this piece, for example, the reference pictures that I had did not have these colors. I changed the colors quite a bit to go with what I wanted it to look like. And I put the pictures or I put the certain desserts in spots where I believed, yeah, I could change it into this and that color. For example, with the more red, brownish desserts, they really weren't that red at all but I thought okay this kind of cream cake in the glass this could be red easily and then the cookie for example I could tint it a little bit orange to make it fit so I did change the things I did change the colors especially if the frostings from the cupcakes like I said this is a very easy thing where you just change those colors and it makes sense and it still looks very realistic because cupcake frostings I believe are almost always colorful unless they're just white but that's something where we don't even think about it and I tried to keep the cakes themselves in a more earthy color scheme to make them look a little bit more realistic in a way but yeah 
colorful cakes are a thing too so it really doesn't matter that much and with the ice cream I have to say I went back and forth with this so much then I had this awesome gradient that I was happy with and then I decided this is too blue it needs to be a little bit more on the purple side to fit my color scheme so later on I went over it yet again <laughs> so if you were to ask me which one of these took the longest time, I would say it would probably be the ice cream cone. I had a lot of fun with that one, but it was really a back and forth. Also, you will see just yeah, right now you can see that I put on a little bit of a paper wrapper as well because I thought it was a little bit too brown. It needed a little bit more color here. So yeah, this was all a little bit of a back and forth and changing the colors a little bit also with this cake here, trying to make it fit into the color scheme a little bit better. And also with this cake, I turned it a little bit more pinker later because we have this yellowish green cream. And honestly, I didn't mind it, but it just wouldn't fit enough. It was a little bit too different from the color that I wanted. So I tinted it a little bit more pink here. You can see that. So it would go with that. And those were all of the thoughts that were going on here. And honestly, it was a lot of playing around. It felt very playful and that's what kept me going. That's what made this whole process enjoyable. And I really urge you to not give up on your pieces, even if you're not completely happy with the colors, especially these are things that you can easily change, especially if you combine watercolors and gouache. You can see now I'm adding in a little bit more of a purple tint to the cone and yeah I also tinted this cupcake a little bit more purple and then we are finished this is the final result I'm really happy with it I hope that you found this inspiring and feel inclined to create some dessert themed art pieces now for some more food related painting inspiration check out this video next